All right, guys. Um, today we're having a look at our six fibre grid references. And we're, using, we're using our map from the 2014 papers, our map of Dungarvan, uh, to help us out here today. So six fibre grid references. Uh, what do I always do? I always use my formula as follows. I use the formula lads, talk, soccer, right? So what does that mean? That really stands for letter comes first, then the number across the top, and then the number up the side, right? So I'm going to use letter top side to get the six-figure grid reference for car park, car park here at this location. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for, and I'm using letter top side. So let's start off with letter. So first of all, you can see here that this map has two letters. We have the letter X and we have the letter S. So how do I know which letter that I'm going to uh, am I going to use? Well, first of all, all of Ireland is divided into massive grid squares. Each grid square has its own letter. So um, anything to this side of the line zero zero. Whoops is in grid S. So let me highlight that line there. So anything to the north of this line or above it is going to be in grid S and anything to the south of the line down here is going to be in grid X. So I know that there's a change in grid because my grid letters are changing, but I also know because it changes from zero, zero, um, zero, zero, um, and leader go down to 99 or up to 01. So that's how I know that there's a change in grid letter. So because I'm looking for the car park up here, I know that because it's above this line, okay, it must be in grid S. So it must be in the grid letter S. Okay, let's get rid of those. Wonderful. So that means I'm coming for the number across the top. And when I'm looking for the number across the top, I always read from left to right. So I always start over here in this corner. OK, so I always read like a storybook or like my, my, my copy. I'm always reading from left to right. So this here is box 21. This is 22. This is 23. This is 24. This is 25. This is 26. And this here is 27. This is 28. This is 29. You'll see here box 30 is named, but box 30 is not on this map, okay? Box 30 would be out here somewhere, okay? So it's not actually on the map. So even though the start of it is there and it is mentioned there, it's not actually on this map. I always read from left to right. So I'm looking for my car park. My car park is here, so I know I'm in grid 27. However, 27 is not enough to get me my, my, my full answer here, okay? So I need a six-figure grid reference. Um, so what have I got to do? I've got to take my ruler. I'm taking my ruler and I'm putting it up against my map. Okay. Uh, and each one of these small little boxes is two centimeters. Okay. Two centimeters in length, two centimeters in width. Okay. So what I've got to do is I've got to divide my box into little units of 10. So each one of these little lines here is representing one of my steps along uh, the ladder, making it all the way to, to my unit of 10. So this is 270 right here, 271. This here is 272, 273, 274, 275, 276, 277, 278, 279, 280. So I'm looking at my, 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 my car park, okay? And I'm going to get my ruler now again. I'm going to line it up, and I'm going to see which one best fits it. Okay, so it's right along here. I'm going to draw my line all the way down. Okay, excellent stuff. So I know it's 270. It's not 270, not 271, 272, 273, 274. 275, 276. So it's 277. Okay, let's change the color. 277. So that's the first part. So I now have got the number across the top. Now I've got to get the number up the side. Okay, let's change color again. How am I going to do this? So again, I'm going to go down the side of my map and I'm going to always read the number from the side. I always read it from bottom to top. So starting down here at 90. So this is 90. This is 91, this is 92, this is 93, 94, 95. And there's nothing stopping you from doing this inside in the exam. You can write and draw on your map whatever way you see fit. 98, 99, 100. And this is box 101. Okay, or 01 as it is because I'm in a new, a new grid square. Okay. So I know that my car park is here. That again, um, and as a result, I know that it's S27701 something, right? Let's get rid of these little numbers here again, okay? So, again, what do I do? I get my ruler, 
I put it up to the side of my map and I'm going to count out my little units of 10 again, starting from bottom. I'm working my way to the top. So this is 010, zero, zero. this is 011, 012, 013, 014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And here I'm onto my new box. Get my ruler, line it up there nice and straight. Okay. And I'm going to see which one. I'm going to draw my line uh, across from my car park to the side. And where my line intersects, that should be exactly where my car park is. That's exactly what's happened in this case. So I'm at 011, 012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 018. Okay, so I know that the car park is at S277018. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's how I get my grid six-figure grid reference there on my map. Uh, hopefully that's helped you out. Um, and best wishes. Talk soon. Bye.